Starting today, ministers returning from work trips abroad will be excused from serving a 10-day quarantine. They will instead undergo a reduced period of three days of observation. Now, this raises questions on how effective a three-day quarantine period is to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We spoke to Master at the Academy of Medicine Malaysia, Professor Dr. Rosmati Mohamad, to explain the science behind the three-day quarantine or if there is a science behind it all. So CDC gave the option to reduce quarantine using symptom monitoring and diagnostic uh, testing uh, to seven days because when you actually have enough resources for diagnostic testing available, then if a diagnostic specimen test negative and there is no symptom reported during the daily monitoring, so the quarantine can then end after seven days. So the specimen must be collected and tested at least 48 hours before the time of the planned quarantine discontinuation. That means uh, at five days at least, you should do the testing just in case there is delay in getting the result. But the quarantine must be continued, uh, um, so it must not be discontinued earlier than day seven. So CDC gave the option to reduce quarantine using symptom monitoring and diagnostic uh, testing. Uh, to seven days because when you actually have enough resources for diagnostic testing available, then if a diagnostic specimen test negative and there is no symptom reported during the daily monitoring, so the quarantine can then end after seven days. So the specimen must be collected and tested at least 48 hours before the time of the planned quarantine discontinuation. That means uh, at five days at least, you should do the testing just in case there is delay in getting the result. But the content must be continued, uh, um, so it must not be discontinued earlier than day seven. Meanwhile, Health Director General Tan Sri Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah today said each minister returning inbound must comply to specific regulations first before the Ministry of Health decide on the length of quarantine. So they have to submit, and in terms of uh, travelling, all ministers, ministers travelling overseas uh, for official matters will have to submit to the cabinet, uh, cabinet and will get approval. And from there, I think we will look into the schedule and uh, the official visit. If they do not comply to the uh, uh, regulation or even our guidelines, then they have to complete the 10 days quarantine. Meanwhile, the Malaysian Health Coalition has called on the government to revoke the order allowing a shorter quarantine period for ministers. In a statement, the coalition said the justification provided by the health minister does not sufficiently explain the rationale, science, evidence or facts behind this decision. It added the order undermines the national effort to curb COVID-19. It said the double standards not based on evidence or science will erode public trust in the standard operating procedures and that they will worsen the trust deficit between the people and politicians.